one with the opening side face out. And that's what we're doing here. So please give us the first one. But let me explain that the other sketch. Mini skirt, thicker skirt, short skirt, waist skirt, gara skirt. Let me explain that gara skirt. Let us zoom. I want to, I want to sew a gara skirt for this lady here. The first thing you're going to do is to take the measurement. Wow, skirt. Which one is the waist? Waist. 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 For some certain, for a thicker step now, you need deep measurement. But for Gara skirt, you only need two measurements: the waist measurement and the length of the skirt. So, 
We are cutting what, please? So I said the length is 41 inches. From that 41 inches, since um, we are making a band, you can make any band of your choice. It can be 2 inches, it can be 3 inches, it can be 1 inch. Any side of the band is like. So just make sure you deduct it from the length. Skirt length. The actual skirt length is what? 41 inches minus 3 inches. That's 39 inches. So that means you want to take the length, the length of the fabric. You are taking 39 inches with the same allowance. Make sure you put the same amount. So by the time you join it up with this pan and you take it down, it's going to short. So add any inches that you know it will be okay. But here I'll be adding two inches to it. So by stitching up with um, half inch. I'm going to use one and a half to end it. And it's going to give me the actual length, which is 41 inch that I took on arm. So if you are cutting a gather skirt, a gather skirt, depending on the fabric you are using, how full this skirt is going to be, it depends on the length of the fabric, the yard of the fabric. Let's assume we are going to use, she's using 26 inches now. And what so the other skirt for her? And we are having one yard of fabric. One yard is how many? 36. That means 36 minus 26. We only have how many inches there? 10. So it's two without food. So then I have two yards. That's 36 plus 36. That's 72. 72 minus 26 inches are wasted. That is what it is. Then we have 10 and 36, that's 46. Right? Then we have 46 to make a gather. That means to be what? To be full. So let's have we have 3 yards. That's 36 plus 36 plus 36. Minus 26 inches. It will mean 72 plus 10. That's 82. We have 82 inches left. Make a gather. That is going to be fuller than that of two years. So it depends on the length of fabric that will make the size of the skirt. You understand? So maybe you are dealing with three years of fabric and this is the two years. Spread it out this way. Then the next year you are going to take take the length of the skirt by taking off the inches of band that you want to use. So that's how I'm using, I'm using two inches. This is the two inches, right? I'm taking it off. Then I'm going to take the normal length. So by the time I attach the two inches back, it's going to join, it's going to complete the length of the skirt. So it's just for it to take off. So if you're taking off three inches, fine. If you're taking off one and a half inches, fine. If you're taking off one inch, fine. So let me use two inches. Because tiny band needs to be very nice. So let me use two inches. Then the two inches off, then the length of the skirt is what? 38. So let me use 26 for my own. So this is not, not, uh, not a fabric. So this is it. Then you're going to cut out this 30, this 26 out. So by me joining the waist measurement of 2 inches to this 26, it's going to be what? 28. That will make the length of the skirt. Then you're going to, you're going to, you're going to cut out the band. This is after cutting all this out. I'm going to cut this out. Then it's going to give you a straight long fabric. Without doing it, to be straight. So that has been a little three years. You just cut the damn part. Then you and um for some um let, let me are uh, working on a kayak fabric. A kayak is 45 inches at right. Then the maybe the length you are saying for a tall uh a tall person and the length the full length is 40. The highway skirt is 47. Or let me say, the highway skirt is 45. So by the time you take two inches off, it will 
what? What is the So the what left here for you is three inches. So that two inches is only for the same allowance. So just so it's no need of cutting anything out. The, and the longness is um, the gap is three years. But if you are working on the um, material, no material is by sixty. So you have enough fabric to cut out at the damper after deducting the length of the skirt. Do you understand? So this is the length. This is what I'm cutting. This is what I'm cutting. This is the length of this cut. Cutting this cut. So it's from this. That I just explained now that you don't have any, any what any pieces left. Where are you going to get the band? The band measurement. You didn't cut it at all. The color. I said let us look the length of the. Is and the Ankara is by 45. And I did three years of Ankara for the Dalad. Um, this is the Dalad skate. So, why are you going to get the, the band? You reduce the Yes. Yes. Just take the uh, just take two inches from the, from the three yards and you get your band. But yeah, so this is the essence. Now I'm going to cut this essence out. Then from here, I can get my band from here if it's enough. If it doesn't enough, if it's smooth enough, take the, from the line. take it from the line. Just cut point. It won't affect the garden at all. Yes, any length. So I'm going to cut this out. That's the length of the skirt. Then I'm cutting two inches from here. From here, from this edge, you want to stitch, but you leave one inch before you start to gather. So after that one inch, because that is where the zip is going to. So don't pleat from here so that the zip will not will not be on top of the pleat. It will not be fine. So then you start your gathers. Gathers, you can use two things for gathers. It's very easy and use your um you gather when you. You can sew it on the machine by no stitch. When you want to start, don't stitch. And when you, when you're handing it here, you don't stitch. So you're going to take one thread. You're going to do that. 
take one thread from the two thread, then draw it or you shift it, it's going to form a gather. Or you use your hand to make it tiny pleats around the waist. You can also use your hand to make a tiny pleat around the waist. You can see the way I'm doing it. So you don't start from here. You start after one inch of slip allowance. Then you make this. You're going to fit this around this waist. Just let it tiny. Now, to give you a gathered skirt, not a pleated skirt. A pleated skirt is different from a gathered skirt. Um, gathered is any pleat that, that is not feasible, that is very, very tiny. So, so after, when you get to this area too, you lift one inch, then you hand your plate. Do you understand, please? Any question? This is one method. It's not, you talk about using rope to me. It's not rope, it's thread. It's thread. You first sew it on the machine. You don't stitch when you want to start it. You just start. You won't stitch. Then you know it's not on this. We are even one inch on this. So when you are you and you will stitch, then uh, you will sew. You won't stitch. Then you hang it here. You so it's a to thread. You take one out of the thread. You try to be shifting it. It should be me for me. Gather. Then you place it on your fabric then you show it but just make sure that that pleat that form you shift it out of this area out of this you shift it a little bit don't let it reach here one inch for the zip allowance and when you're handing it make sure you lift one inch so that you put a zip on the it's going to be inside when you sew first, you are sewing in the right side now. Yes, yes. So after when you shift it right, and then you place it on the skirt, then you sew it on it. And you can as well use your hand while stitching it. Make a, uh, a tiny pleat yourself. Just let it to be tiny. Make a tiny pleat. Like go a pleat. Make a tiny pleat. Let it pull around the waist. And after that, you join it together. You join it together at the back here. Then you put a zip and you sew it. And you stitch the damper. That's it. But the band will not go round. It will go round. This one, this one, this one, yeah, this one, yeah, this one, 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 this if you are with Lily and Dre, you can sew it out for others to see. Yes. When you cut your um, this thing out, sew it with Lily and Dre, and you see the beauty. We're done with the gathered skirts. Do you understand this? You can use the Lily and Dre to sew it out, and you see how it is. By the time you put all these around this, Gather all this, uh, this one around the waist. You're going to hand it right into your zip. You're going to stitch the damper. And just for this thing. This is going to be happy. Like this. So the second uh, skirt, you like to play skirt. Play skirt. It's a skirt. When I when I was explaining the this skirt that time, the play skirt. 
I said there's a full skirt, there's a full flare, and there's a triangle flare. If you want to cut out a full flare, the first thing you're going to do is to fold it into to fold the fabric into two. Get that 10 inches from here. 10 inches into the right by four is what this. 
2.5 inches. So what I need here is 2.5 inches. By the time I open it, I will, I will have my 10 inches. So I can I get that 2.5 inches in this round shape? Then I'll be timing it. So let me use 1.5 from this side. 1.5? Yes. 1.5. So let me see maybe I can get my 2.5 from here. Yes. The two, the one inch, the 1.5 inches gives me the 2.5 that I need. This is it. You can see? Yes. So then you you connect your lines together for the skirt. So assuming you are working on that 26 inches and you want to get it here, you have to determine it. I don't know it. I don't know. I don't know it. I don't know where to start from and to end from. So I have to determine it. So let me try to determine that to get that 26 inches. 26 inches is there by four. That's 6.5 inches. So I need 6.5 inches. So let me use, let me try and use four inches. Four inches. Four inches. You are not reducing it to 4 inches, I am not reducing it to, I am starting from this edge. 4 inches, 4 inches. So let me see, maybe I can get my 6.5. Yes, this is 6.7 inches. I can still manage it because of sleep allowance. So no need of reducing it. I can still manage this. So I think I should be using maybe. How do you come about? I didn't know. I just I just assumed. So if you didn't get it, just try to if you get more than maybe this is more than what? 6.5. This is 6.7. I can if I want to get that exact 6.5 inches, I will try to reduce it to 3 points. Maybe 3.9 inches. 3.9 inches. 3.9 inches. 3.9 inches. 3.9. So by this, let me see what I can get. So you can see, this is 6.4 inches. You can see. So if you want to make it that exact is perfect, you can still go there a little bit to 9.99 inches. So just try to determine it. So I'm using that four that gave me six point what six point seven because there is still going to be a zip allowance. I said I didn't know. I just determine. I just you can just pick any number and try to do. If that number gives fine, if it doesn't, try to reduce it or try to increase it. So that means you get the radius of this area that you connect the lines together for cutting. After that, it's from here you take the length of what you want. The length of the skirt. No, it has a band. Let me take two inches band off. Then we are showing mini skirts, mini flare skirts, right? So then a mini skirt is between 10 to 17 inches. So let me use 12 inches. With the seam allowance, so I'm adding seam allowance. I've added seam allowance to it already to make it 12 inches. So after after stitching it, any inches that it gave me is okay. Right? So let me show you. Check. Okay, so let me show you. Check. Check. Then I'm going to connect the lines together. So now this is the length of the sketch from here to here. Then I'm going to add 